Andy, take two. This is our second video introducing accent reduction. It says how Andy discovered accent reduction. How does anybody discover accent reduction? After my 14 years in Los Angeles, I was very lucky. I came back to Vancouver and I, I got a great job with the Actors Union downtown Vancouver. And part of my job was to work with American producers who came up from LA to make their movies in Vancouver because it's cheaper. There's a lot of production here because they don't have to pay the actors or the crew as much. They've got the beautiful scenery, so they come up here. And one day I got a call from an American producer. He said, Andy, this is 1997. Andy, we're not going to hire any Vancouver actors for our movies or TV show because we don't like the way they speak. We hate this Canadian way of talking. I remember saying, Robert, what are you talking about? He said, you know, they talk too fast. Their words are clipped or short. He said, rather than listen to a Canadian audition, we'd rather have them run their, I don't have it here, their fingernails down a blackboard. I thought, wow, 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 wow. He said, look, you speak American. I grew up in San Francisco. He said, you speak American. You speak just like I do. You need to try and figure out how you're speaking so you can teach these kids how to speak American. For a moment, I thought, I don't know how I speak. I, Yes, I do. I know how I speak. Because I speak just like my wonderful father. In 1997, my father lived close to me, and I called my dad, and I said, Dad, I'm coming over. Because one thing I've, I've known all my life, I talk... I talked exactly like my father. Uh, if someone, if I answer the phones, no one knows whether it was me or my father. So I called my dad and I said, Dad, what is it about the way we talk? But I remember kind of stopping because I realized I did something I never thought I was doing. This is important for you. I went, Dad. My tongue went up on my palate. Can you all open your mouth and go, Dad? Make a circle with your lips. What is it about? The way we talk. Let's do it again. Dad, what is it about the way we talk? And in 15 minutes, we figured out that when we spoke American, we were putting, without thinking, our tongue and lips in one of 10 positions. In 15 minutes, we figured out that when you said a word, I'll just do a few. If you said the word answer, you didn't go answer. You went open mouth 60%. Answer. Everybody do it. Open your mouth. Answer. How about easy? Easy. How about I? I. How about out? Out. How about up? Up. Every word beginning with a vowel, you open your mouth. Let's do it again. Get ready. Answer. Answer. Ready? Easy. Easy. So you do the, the vowels. How about B, M, and P? My lips come together out here. By many pieces. This is how to speak American. Nothing to do with accent reduction. C, K, and G comes from the neck. Canada, kind, going. Get ready from here. C -c -c Canada, kind, going. D, J, N, and T. All four letters, your tongue goes up at 45 degrees. Let's do it. Let me do it first. Doesn't, jump, nice, time. Get ready. Doesn't, jump, jump, nice, nice, time. Can you hear something? All the words are long. They have long vowels. Answer. Basically, time, doesn't. How about F and V? Finish, very. Get ready? Because I'm biting on that F, I can make the long vowel. Finish, very. L, put your tongue behind your top teeth. Like, lucky. H, he. Let's do five words. Listen. He hasn't had any happiness. Get ready? He hasn't had any happiness. W, Y, T-H, they. All these different positions. We missed R, S, and Y is R, S, and Y. So I took a piece of paper with all these different ten groups of the letters of the alphabet and took them to my boss the next day. And I started to teach. You can see, if you can see, on the left-hand corner, there was the first class that I taught, all Canadians, wanting to learn how to speak American so they could work with this producer on American movies or TV in Vancouver. And everything went great. I showed them all the tongue and lip positions. I showed them, and here's the important part, how to bring in a little bit of air, 
push out the air to make every word have a long vowel. Say it, to make. Everybody, to make. Every word have a long vowel. That was the secret. And I started to teach. And in the second week, there was a knock on the door. And there was a lovely black guy from West Africa, Francis Yehun. And I saw Francis. I knew him very well. I said, yes, Francis. He said, uh, Andy, I want to come to your class. I thought, I don't know how to teach a guy from Africa. I can only teach the Canadians. But it was a freezing cold day. It was like Russia in Vancouver in 1997, in February. It was so cold outside, I thought, you know what? I'll let Francis sit. I think you can see Francis sitting with the other students. And a miracle happened. At the end of the third class, he raised his hand. And I said, yes, Francis. And he went. I could see his mouth open. Andy, I think I'm able to speak without my accent. So from that day, February 1997, I've taught over 24,000 wonderful students with Spanish, Russian, Chinese, Cantonese, Mandarin accents. And also, if you don't have an accent, but you're a native English speaker, I will teach you to speak thoughtfully, clearly, like you're a very intelligent, thoughtful person. Hope you understand what this is all about, and I look forward to our next video. Thank you very much.